All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna try to keep them going. I've been doing pretty good putting out videos lately. Oh, and now that we have the Nismo, we have the Supra, there's no excuses as to why I can't put out content. So I'm gonna try to keep it going now. Well, there is, I, I got other things I gotta do too. Right now we're gonna go pick up the Supra from Premium OC. The Supra is done. They just posted a video on Instagram. They weren't supposed to coat the car because my homie was gonna do it because they're gonna charge me extra. My homie wanted to do it for free and make some content out of it too um, for his detail company, uh, which is Proax. But I saw their Instagram video that they just posted my car that's finished and that was a lot of glass. And they coated the whole car. That's so sick and he didn't charge me for it. Big shout out to, to them for that, honestly. I was so happy when I saw that. I was like, wow, like they didn't have to do that. Very nice of them. I'm really stuck to see it. That Instagram video, it looks so shiny. It looks so good. I don't know, I can't wait to see it in person. I love clean paint. There's something about it, just, I love it. But yeah, I'm excited, as you can tell, to go pick up the Supra and finally get to drive it now. I'm thinking of getting some, some type of suspension for the Supra. Let me know what I should put on the Supra for all the Supra owners out there. Because I've been doing some research and a lot of people are just saying just to do springs because the dampening on the shocks that it comes with already on the suspension, I guess is really good. So I've always just gotten coilovers or like air suspension on my bluesy, but I've never just done springs. All right guys, we made it to premium. Can't wait to see the Supra. I'm so stoked, so excited. My hands are all sweaty, I don't know why. I'm like getting nervous. Their shop is so sick. You guys gotta come check it out. What's up, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, what up, Dude, that it looks so Paint sick. fully corrected all the way around. PPF, the front cap. The hood, fenders, bumper, headlights. Uh, we didn't do the mirrors because it was satin. We replaced the mirrors with the pillars here. So everything's uh, fully done. Another thing that we did, which we, we said not to, you just coated the whole car. Dude, I saw, thank you guys yeah. so much. Honestly, when I saw that on Instagram earlier, I was like, oh, I felt bad. I was like, no way they yeah. did that for me. That's. I want to take I care of you, bro. Like, yeah, dude, thank day, you. Like, where we have the car in the process, it made the most sense just to knock it out. Yeah. It's on the house, we're gonna take care of it. Uh, dude, thank as you. as you can see, I just wanted to show you the full experience of what it should look like, you know? I hadn't seen this thing clean yet because it was so dirty from the dealer. <laughs> so I finally get to see it nice and shiny. It's beautiful. Dude, this is nice, wow. You can actually see like the, uh, the top flaking it really well. Dude, this thing looks insane. It's so clean. Wow. gonna drive the Supra. Now we're gonna drive the Nismo, that way I can get some rollers of it on the road. I know, right? That's why I kept the seat covers. I don't even want to take them off. So sick seeing both the Z and the Supra together right here. Supra looks so clean. All right, let's head out before it gets too dark. First time I'm seeing both cars together like this. All right, we're headed home now. Big, big shout out to Premium. Make sure to check them out. Honestly, they, they did a beautiful job on my Supra. You guys know how picky I am with my cars. Oh, I just felt really comfortable bringing it here and I knew they would take really good care of my car, so that's why I chose to come here. They've been in the game for years, for like 10 plus years or something. So check out their new location, pull up to the shop, check it out. If you guys need anything done, PPF, wrap, hit them up. I highly recommend them. I don't like letting a lot of people touch my cars unless I know they're gonna do a really great job and fully trust them, they did a great job. seeing it rolling even though it's completely stock but I guess knowing it's your car and seeing it on the road just makes you more happy and it looks really shiny right now all right 
right guys so it has been a couple days now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the car it's been like two days so the car's a little dirty right now you can't really tell it's like barely any dust but to me it feels dirty after seeing it so clean after picking it up from premium so i'm kind of just gonna give you guys a closer look since i didn't give you guys a close look when i went and picked it up so as you guys heard from daniel we ppf the hood the headlights the bumper and we did the eight pillars right here instead of doing the mirrors because the mirrors are like plastic they're not even painted so i'm thinking of just getting the carbon uh mirror caps to replace this and this piece actually came ppf from factory so that's pretty cool um so yeah pretty much from here all the way down is ppf but yeah the car looks so good you can see how glossy the paint looks like it is insane how clean the car looks and it's gonna stay like this all the time too after I wash it it's gonna look so clean brand new oh yeah we also did the fender I forget that this is the fender right here um, and then pretty much everything else is not PPF from here and back um, I did want to do the whole car but it's expensive like just doing the front end was already pretty expensive doing the whole car probably would have been I don't know like six seven thousand dollars so I didn't really feel like spending that much money right now on this car because I have other things that I need to spend money on right now but the car looks really clean um the only thing I'm worried about now actually is that the front tires once I get wider ones I feel like they're gonna kick rocks um to this area right here so hopefully not hopefully we can keep it clean maybe I'll ppf it later in the future car looks so clean they did such a good job give you guys a close look like all of the PPF, I don't even know where the line is. Like they wrapped it all the way around so you can't really see. You can see the corners right here. The corners pretty tucked right there. And then you guys can see. Yeah, it's like, it's really hard to see that there's even PPF on here. Yeah, the front end looks so good. All right guys, I think it's finally time to take the seat covers off. <laughs> I've had these things on since I bought the car been over a week and people keep asking me why I have them on still and honestly I don't have an answer for that I just don't know like I've never bought a new car with like seat covers on still this and I don't know I just feel like I really want to keep this car looking brand new like this which is gonna drive me nuts because that's not gonna happen so I honestly have not seen the seats yet this is the first time you guys are gonna see them with me go ahead and take them off oh my god this hurts to take them off Oh, they're sick. Oh, they're pretty nice. All right, let's take the rest of it off. Pretty sad. This is kind of satisfying, not gonna lie. Bam. Look how clean this looks. It looks so nice. I really like these seats, not gonna lie. The premium, I think, comes with all leather. But to be honest, these ones with the Alcantara in the middle, Dude, these things are nice with all this red inside, the stitching. They're sick. I love them. Should have done that a long time ago. I was cruising with the seat covers on, trying to keep it brand new forever. Like if that was going to happen. So they did like a stage one paint correction on the whole car. And then they put down the PPF in the front and ceramic coated the whole car. So this car is going to be so much easier to wash now. My little blower is going to just blow all the water off. I don't have to worry about like going back and forth trying to dry it up with a rag creating swirls on the paint now i can just blow it all off use some spray wax wipe it clean make it shine car's good to go it's not much to it but yeah guys big big shout out to premium make sure to hit them up if you guys need window tint ppf wrap done they just opened their new location in orange county it's called premium oc on instagram so go ahead shoot them a follow or hit them up if you guys need anything done. In about a week or two, I'll take them to the car so they can do a quick checkup, see how the PPF um, came out, make sure there's no like little bubbles or anything like that. So they're gonna overlook their work again. Just make sure everything's good. I've driven this car like three times now and I honestly love it. Like I finally found the perfect seating position. Everything just feels right now. The Alcantara is so nice because it just holds you in place. And then I just I usually like this to be leather. I don't like too much Alcantara because it's so hard to clean. There's like really no type of sprays or anything so that's the only thing that alcantara it's hard to keep clean but do you like that all of this is all leather here all of this no alcantara only right here the carbon right here is so sick so clean yeah, everything's nice on this car i love this car honestly i can't wait to start modding this thing I do have some plans 
um, that I have to do first before I start modding it. I have to keep it stock, so um, after that, then we can start doing some stuff. But for the future, I really do want to single turbo this car and make somewhere in the 700s. I guess the motor can actually handle that up to like 900 from what a friend was telling me, I guess, that his buddy is making 900 on the stock motor. I've put so far 275 miles on the car. Just need about 700 more to go and then we can start driving this thing hard. All right, we're back in the Nismo. One thing I really do like about my Nismo over the Supra is how tight the steering is. It's super tight, I love that. Because the Supra is a little too wiggly, especially if you're going at high speeds, like it's still really wiggly compared to this one. And this one gets even tighter when you're going faster. Every time I get in here, I don't know, everything just feels right. Everything just feels perfect. I love this car so much. I love Zs. They're always going to be my number one favorite cars. At least the 350 Zs for sure. They really do feel solid. Like with a lot of power in these cars, dude, my car was going straight. The Blue Z would just go so straight. Steering wheel never got wobbly. It always just felt so solid when I was doing pulls in that car. Just a great car, I love it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video pretty soon.